This is the future. Paying attention to listening to all of us. Uh, so the most critical thing, uh, this is again an opinion of the data privacy world. So uh, if you look at cybersecurity and you think of it as the bank, what do you have inside the bank, the most important thing? Money. So you have money in the cash vault. And you say, I close the door, I close the window, I put se uh, security guards outside. Well, now there are 20 of them that came to steal from the bank. I'll call the local police. Now there are 200 of them. I'll call the military. There are 2,000 of them. I'll call somebody else, the wall police, something like that. So security is a layer, 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 layer that goes, protects the network, protects from outside. What has not happened around the world yet is that by implementing data privacy compliance, you become the first line of defense. So your name, your Aadhaar card number, your PAN card number, your voter ID, your home address, your date of birth, your driving license number, your passport number, your credit card number, etc. <coughs> if that data is protected at source, if the breach happens, like he talked about, because they already have the data, you, you were asking that question, you have to go through five steps to log into your bank account. But they are able to do it within 10 seconds because they're using a bot or a automated technology using technology, right? That. Why? Because they have collected that data, they have already prepared this. They've been preparing for months and years. What you think, I am spending three minutes, they were able to do it in 10 seconds. That 10 seconds did not happen today. It's been happening oh. over years. That's so it's the preparation yeah. that they have been doing by stealing our data and building the pipeline, building the personation. When you are doing this, you are the good actor. They are the bad actors. The bad actors have been preparing for many, many years by stealing our private data. So if we stop the access to our private data, they will not be, there's no way, absolutely no way they can get in. Yeah, great question. So cybersecurity has existed in India for a very long period of time. This is not new. Governance is there, process is there, resiliency is there. It can, it can be improved. Over a period of time, more improvement will happen there. But it's not enough. And that is why DPDP Act has been put in place. So data privacy, if you combine data privacy and cybersecurity, data protection will be better. So financial institutions need to now start implementing data privacy compliance. What does that mean? Cybersecurity gives us layers of security through which a hacker may or may not be able to hack into. But we know that happens every, every week, every day, every month, every year, and it will continue to improve, increase, like uh, he said. You know another reason why it will continue to increase? The mob syndicates have invested over trillions of dollars around the globe, Eastern European countries, Hong Kong, China, um, South America, etc. So you think they have invested and they are going to back out and not do it? They will do it. They will try to develop technology which is smarter. And if we try to, like, you know, like the saying is there in India, Tum dal dal mein jaoge, main patte patte mein jaunga. Right? Hacker will go into the patta. So it's up to us to become more, you know, smarter, uh, smarter than them. If they can be smart, we also can be smart. So if we combine data privacy by protecting the data at source as a first line of defense, and use of cybersecurity and all the resiliency and all the governance and process and the discipline, the cultural aspect of telling the user, like Jan, don't do this, right? The education will also help. So it's a, it's a process, it's a, it's a combination of different things. One thing is not going to deter them or protect them or stop them. So as we improve and combine data privacy, including cybersecurity, maybe more cybersecurity, but not at the cost of the user. Because the user is more of Gen X, and they say, I have to do three clicks. I don't like it. Yeah. How do you bring it down to two clicks? While you do everything else, you can now bring it down to one click. Now it could be, I'll just look at it. And the done. And five years from now, that same Gen X who is 16 year old say, I don't like that I have to log in. Why do I have to log in? So the technology will go towards that, and we all have to figure out how to, how to get there. Absolutely. You know, after talking to you all, you know, in one hand, I feel assured that, you know, uh, my